Uh, we're here with Ben and Delaney, who just took, uh, well, they played Dark Striker Gookie. They, uh, ben took Top 64 at the UK Nats 2018. Uh, and they're going to go through the deck for us. So uh, without further ado, you want to take it away? Yeah, so we played uh, Dark, Sky Striker, Gookie. So we played three Mali, it's broken, uh, one Armageddon Knight, uh, one Necro Gardener, two Junk Forward, three Super X, two Chess Cobra, two Headbutt, two Up Stretch, and then one each of the big guys. And then uh, one Iblee to finish off the, the main ones the main monsters that you play for the combo. So uh, the deck's really explosive and they're saying like if you open up Mali halfway through the combo or like if you draw it in any part of the combo, you're able to um, and like you haven't drawn any others, you're able to end with the U quite easily and quite simply. Yeah, so there's two major combos in the deck. Uh, one of them requires you to have Armageddon Knight um, with any Gooky monster and uh, it allows you to do the extra link with a Trigate on three, um, Cerberus, uh, Goblin and two Mermaids with them having a Nibbly and you finish with four cards in hand two, which is really good. Uh, there's also another combo as well which you'll we'll see in another video um, where if you open up um, Sky Striker Hornet bit and uh, Mali then you see you have effectively the same combo providing you have a Gookie in hand. So, we're going to carry on. Yeah, so then for the hand traps we play three impersonants and three Ash. Uh, we didn't play Droll because Droll's not very good in this deck because it's only really good in Trickstar because they get the main advantage off of it and also like uh, if you uh, get to a grind game situation and you've opened that card you're only just slowing the game down a little bit. Yeah we effectively decided that Droll was only good in Trickstar decks because of the drawn lock combo. Outside of that like um, by playing Droll it means that if we get Drolled and say we open Droll right yeah. and we get Drolled if we call by the grave it, that's a dead hand trap yeah. in hand for next turn so bearing that but we don't want to slow the game down in game one we just want to the game in game one this deck wins or loses based on the first two turns of both players so okay. we wanted to make game two and three more of a grind game but we didn't think Droll was good enough to be a grind card in this format. Yeah. So yeah. Yeah. So the Ash, the Ash is standard. Yeah. It's just the best hand trap. Yeah. It's like it's how you out at reincarnation lock. So. Yeah. And then for the spells we played the Soul Charge, AK God Card, Monster Reborn, <laughs> World Legacy, uh, one of each sword. Uh, Delaney played Moon Mirror Shield instead of this, but mm -hmm. I think this was better for Top Cut because I was expecting a lot of brand pure brandish. Okay. And then one Rosa uh, because you have to play it because it's a warrior deck. Yep. I wish I actually played this card. Like I didn't open up double field spell. Uh, sorry, double equip spell once all uh, event. So. Yeah. So. It was definitely the better choice. Yeah. Sure. And then for the rest of the spells, we played two rematch because if um, well, for example, if one gets ghost spelled, you can still search the second throughout the combo and go off. Yeah. Plus, if you actually draw this card with a combo, it means that like you can end on a better combo by not having to search it. You can search a different gook instead, okay. providing you've been hand trapped anyway. Yeah, yeah. exactly. And like it's what's broken. Uh, two shared ride. Uh, Delaney played three. I opted to play two. Uh, I played two because like it's like really good going first, but then it's also really bad going second. Yeah. But, like realistically, I think I should have played three. But you see, I would actually argue that yeah, you're right to play. I played basically. I played 44 cards. Yeah. Um, he played 43. Um, I played three of this. He played two. Uh, after looking at the event, this card was actually trash because of the amount of road decks there were, <laughs> which is probably the reason why a lot of our team didn't do so well. We uh, built our decks for top cut and then we got smashed by Rogan's first. So, yeah. but not well done, Ben. Yeah, definitely. And then nice uh, the other two off spell is two instant fusion. Mm -hmm. uh, so we're not playing uh, MX Saber Invoker in the extra deck for starters. We're playing this to summon Raijin because Raijin gets over uh, all your tricks, the Trickstar cards and means that you can effectively uh, kill them for game and not get yourself burnt out by searching so much. Yeah. It's also like, um, it's also quite savage as, a, as an extender, like you, you go off and they uh, uh, they ash, sometimes you'll see players that will ash the um, the assault effect to summon from deck yeah. to stop you like continuing with your warriors, whereas uh, Instant Fusion allows you to keep linking as well. It also allows you to make a soldate to if you brick, so it's really good. Yeah. Yeah. And it allows you to make the second assault date if... Um, they like ash the first effect of the assault day and yeah. then yeah, just exactly do the that. thing. <laughs> Not only that, but like uh, also getting Raijin, like if you have Reborn, World Legacy, Successional, Soul Charge, it makes your, uh, your graveyard better for Soul Charge as well. Yeah. Not only that, but you can also put a Licorice Face down, which I did a lot in testing and yeah. in the tournament to stop yourself being burnt by adding effects. So. Yeah, and then we play three Call by the Grave and three Hornet Bit. Yeah. Uh, and you're playing. 
we didn't play engage because like this no so like the theory was like we're not playing any other cards that we can search off engage we're only playing this and also you'll never get to a point where you'll get to draw one off of engage and get the full value out of it yeah. whereas if you play just three of this and you open it it's nice well you kind of you kind of don't want to draw this card all the time like it's really good in your open hand going first and two degrees second but you never want to have this uh, in your hand um, after outside of turn one before you started playing okay. so engage is a bit it just seems a bit greedy yeah um, and it's for like I'd play it after you were playing stuff like afterburners but yeah, yeah. we but didn't we feel the it. reason to play that no, so that's why to keep our deck count quite low space is obviously yeah. quite tight right, we're not Jay Rush 3 playing 60 cards <laughs> um, then for the extra we got two assault day uh, one underclock one Kugari two mermaid uh, Cerberus, Double Goblin, because it's, it's the best one. Oh, sorry. Uh, double Goblin, uh, one Phoenix, one Unicorn, one uh, Griffin. I opted to play Griffin, Delaney didn't. Uh, Trigate, Firewall, and Ryzen for the 15th one. Okay. Yeah, so we played Underclock because like, Underclock's incredibly good. It allows you to OTK, it's a downward point to arrow if you get Reapers. Like, everything about the card is just really good. Like, honestly, game two and three is a bit slower, so you want to be able to. And not push for as much damage as possible, but just OZK them, and this card allows you to do so. Um, everything else is pretty standard, we didn't feel the need to play 2 Phoenix or 2 Cerberus, because, um, as I said, like game 2 and 3 is more of a growing game. It's not about putting out the extra link on turn 1 in game 2 and 3, it's about making uh, Phoenix with Goblin, mm -hmm. uh, setting something like Shared Rides, or another really powerful card. Or um, Impertinence as well. Yeah, Impertinence is just passing. Uh, that way they can't sphere mode you, so have a dead card in hand. Uh, not only that, but you have a card to shut their turn down, like Shared Ride. Yeah. And next turn you have an opening to OTK. That's where everything else comes into play. Yeah. Yeah, everything else, uh, that's pretty standard. But Delaney played Trisbania over Griffin. Uh, I slightly agree with him that I should have played Trisbania. But at the same time, like there were some game states where like if you just put a Griffin out on its own, uh, certain decks like just can't get over it and like they struggle to link. I thought this card was really greedy, so I didn't play it. I played just Banner <laughs> instead because it makes the uh, makes Malicious really good. Yep. Into five back row. Yeah. Against like random stuff like Alter Geist or Pure, I didn't play a single one of those decks. So. Yeah, 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 it's just unlucky. Uh, then side, we played like slightly different side. Well, very different sides. Uh, I uh, played Free Reaper. I played the third Shared Rise. Just if I came up against uh, the meta, three Twin Twister, uh, three Evenly Matched, three Red Reboot, one Trisbania, and one Borrowload. Okay. So, like, I wanted to play so many more extra deck cards because there's so many times where it will come up or something like that against certain matchups, but then there's other cards that like won't come up against certain matchups, so I just decided these in for those matchups where it came up. So the reason why we decided Free Reaper is because we expected like the Yuki to be very underrepresented, underrepresented, but we also wanted a card in the side for that matchup because yeah. it can be kind of bullshit. So we, uh, what we decided was we side this just for the mirror match, so people can't uh, do the, the the stupid shit like um, Phoenix and uh, Goblin, yeah. or even just so they shut their turn down. Yeah, again, creating that opening to OTK. Obviously, you signed the first shared right, which is really good. Also, because we played Kagari as well, we were able to reap the Kagari in Brandish. I mm. didn't play even match to the side. I played Free Moment, Mind Crush instead. Okay. I would have loved to uh, find the space for both, but I didn't think even match should have been good enough. However, uh, my tournament would have been completely different if I did play this card because of the amount yeah. of rogue there was. Uh, so that's pretty much the deck in total. That's okay. Pretty much the deck. Are there any changes that you've made to it following the event? Uh, I'd probably play Free Mind Crush in the side. I'd put them in somewhere like. I couldn't find them before the event, and I should have just got them. But yeah, we haven't had a really had a chance to have a big review yet, as obviously Top 64 has just finished. Yeah, yeah exactly. Um, but yeah, there'll be, a, there'll be a, like an in-depth death profile uh, on, our, on our channel, uh, with an analysis of how the tournament went, what changes will be made. We'll also uh, share a few of the combos I was talking about. Well, so uh, the a lot of the combos will change once Gunblar Dragon comes out as yeah. well. Yeah, of course. And uh, a Link Arriba, is that going to uh, be a well, when Yeah, we would definitely play that card, yeah. yeah. But um, one for one. not when, well, only... Because it's not out for Euros, yeah, you can't yeah, play it, so... Okay, yeah. cool. Uh, do you guys want to do any shout-outs? Yeah, we'd like to shout out our sponsor, uh, Big Orbit, part of the team, uh, for thanking Paul for hooking us up with shirts and everything. Uh, shout-out to the Click, if you know, you know. Uh, shout-out to the boys, Luke Blaney, Luke Bennett, uh, Stuart Watts, uh, just everyone in the Click, really. Um, yeah. Uh, any shout out to you? Yeah, to shout out to the judges and the Konami staff for the uh, work here today. They actually did a really good time trying to get things done as quickly as possible. Um, obviously, the time rule has been heavily discussed by not only the players but the staff as well. And uh, everybody agrees that it needs to be changed. So that's just a little 
<laughs> whine and moan about that. Yeah. yeah. Cool. Well, uh, congratulations, guys. And yeah, well done, mate. Keep, yeah. keep it going. Cheers, it's had mate. a good season so far. Yeah. Good luck to you in future events as well. Cheers. Thank you. Cheers. Thanks for watching this video. If you've got any comments or suggestions that you would like to make, feel free to leave those in the comment section down below. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button and the bell button for notifications for future uploads. Uh, feel free to drop a like if you enjoyed the video and check out the other videos in the similar series that we're running on the channel. We've got the UK Nats uh, deck profiles, top deck, and uh, some dual videos up as well. So feel free to take a look into those. And I'll see you guys in the next video.